god, it just came right back up on the curb. Did you see that? Oh, that's incredible. What's going on, everyone? Vince DeLongine here. Today, we are talking about this, a robotic lawnmower by Momotion called Luba. This is the all-wheel drive 5000. Let me tell you more about it. But disclosures first, Momotion did send this mower to me at no cost to put this review together. The thoughts are of my own, and I really hope that you enjoy this video. In fact, I would encourage you to leave a comment down below if you have used robotic mowers like this. And if you don't have a robotic mower, I still want to hear your thoughts on if you think it's worth it. These things aren't cheap and I will cover costs later on in this video, but I want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on robotic mowers in general? Leave those comments down below. I just wanted to jump in here and say just one thing here. Yes, I did shave. The videos that you're seeing in this video are from about a week or so ago. So, you know, two weeks total I've had this mower. Um, and I'm in the middle of editing and a lot of you have been asking me those who follow me on like Instagram or TikTok have been asking me if this mower is available for sale yet because it has been on pre-order for a long time the answer is yes the all-wheel drive 5000 model the one that we are demoing here now is on sale you can buy it today um, it is not a pre-order. I will leave a link in the description down below and I will also pin a comment to the website if you're interested in purchasing one of these. So this is Luba. This is from a company called Momotion. This model is the all-wheel drive 5000 model. So Luba all-wheel drive 5000. 5,000 means it's designed to mow up to 5,000 square meters or about 1.25 acres of land. Um, the all-wheel drive unit has individual motors in each wheel that can mow slopes up to 75%, uh, which is a pretty steep slope, something like 36 degrees or so. So one of the nice things about this unit is that it does not require a wire or a perimeter wire to be installed before setting this up for mowing. So here I have it in the front yard and I have it actually mowing this small little um, parkway strip here, or road strip here, and there are no wires in the ground. You can set up little bridges to cross the sidewalk and mow that area, or maybe cross the driveway and mow that area. So basically it'll just stop the blade and it'll go across this virtual bridge to then start mowing the other area. So here, what I'm trying to test here is its ability to, to mow these smaller areas and especially around a curb like this because Technically, you're supposed to maintain a distance of, I believe it's something like 10 centimeters or about four inches off uh, the edge. But here in this corner right here, I've got it to go. Really, it's gonna ride the wheels right on this curb. So I wanna see if it's gonna maintain that perimeter without, say, being knocked off the curb. Oh, oh my God, it just came right back up on the curb. Did you see that? Oh, that's incredible. Another thing that Luba does very well is that it mows in straight lines and it does it with really good precision. Not only does it mow in straight lines, but it also actually lays down some serious lawn stripes. Check this out. All right, she's really slow around the corner here. And sometimes I wonder if that's because we're kind of overshadowed by the house here and the Luba unit does depend on um, being connected to satellites to um, navigate around. There's, there's a couple points of reference here. So over there we have, that's the RTK or as I like to call it, the Starship Enterprise because it kind of looks like that. But that is communicating with the satellites in space and then bouncing back down to Luba, and then Luba's bouncing back up to the satellites and then bouncing back up to the Starship Enterprise here. However, there is also the option for the RTK unit to communicate directly with Luba if it's within line of sight. Um, my guess is as it was in this 
I don't want to call it a blind spot because it still had communication, but it does kind of slow down here behind the house here. Um, and depending if it's a cloudy day or as you can see here, it's kind of underneath a little roof eave here. Um, it just slows down there once or twice. It has also uh, stopped, paused, waited to get a satellite signal, and it has continued working. But um, Luba has just self-docked and is now charging in the garage. And then we're going to be ready in a few moments here to mow again if we wanted to. Um, relatively easy setup. You have a couple cables you have to plug in. One goes to power. The other I've got kind of rigged up here over the fence just real quick to get the RTK unit powered. Um, but it does come with this mat that is meant to allow Luba to make a turn, turn around, and back into the charging base. Once you have the charging base and the RTK unit set up, then it's time to enter the map of Luba and start creating a task. And it is very simple. The app is very easy to use. It is um, almost like a remote control. You start selecting uh, a, a, a task by basically driving Luba around the perimeter of the area that you want to mow and with the all-wheel drive 5000 version you can create up to 10 different mowing areas and you can connect them with what i'm calling bridges within the Momotion app though they are called channels luba does a great job navigating over potholes this one right here is about a three inch deep pothole. It is large. It's one of the many holes that we have in the backyard caused by this right here, our dog Ruby. She's definitely a digger and Luba has no problem navigating over these holes. It's got a great suspension system and really um, works well uh, mowing this backyard. That's actually something I was a little bit skeptical about. So Luba has a lot of sensors built in. It's got four sensors on the top. You can see those four little circles there. It's got the bumper in the front. It's got two side bumpers. It's got a lift sensor to sense when it has been lifted up off the ground. And it has various levels of sensing. When you set it up to mow, you can have it fully mow based off of its sonar sensors, or you can have it say, you know bump into an object sense it and then navigate around it so you have a few options with that that does impact things like how long it takes to mow something uh, and you'll see that in the app when you go to adjust the different level of sensing this mower is also ipx6 waterproof meaning that it can withstand rain even though it also has rain sensors to dock itself and stop or pause the work that it is already doing it will automatically go back to the charging base when it senses rain but you can also hose this down you don't have to worry about anything malfunctioning if you have to give it a quick rinse or anything like that so luba's mowing height can range between 30 millimeters to 70 millimeters and you can adjust that in the app it's recommended that you do not mow grass taller than 10 centimeters or about four inches and that brings me to another item i just want to bring up it's not the end of the world but in america we are in imperial units um currently the app is in metric units that is totally fine um and that's the nice thing about software is that it can be easily upgraded. Or at least I should say, I haven't found a way to change the units yet in the app, but that's just been my experience so far after using this unit now for about a week. So this is how it looks when Luba's finished mowing the lawn. We've got some really nice lawn stripes here. It's gone in a couple directions. I've mowed the front yard here several times. So we have, stripes in this direction. We have stripes in this direction. We've got some diamonds going on. It looks pretty good. Now let's take a look at the cut quality. Let's just get deep in here so we can check it out. Because of course cut quality is important. And because we're cutting 
with basically razor blades. I mean, you know, these are, nothing is frayed. Those tips look pretty nice and cleanly cut. So that's the cut quality. You also might be wondering what Luba does with the clipping. So this is not a bagging mower. Um, and when you're cutting, you're really only cutting like a quarter inch at a time. So in a sense, it's kind of like mulching. But when the grass is longer, you know, it's not, it's not mulching up those clippings. So if you're cutting it once a week or once every other week, which is not recommended, you're going to have these longer grass blades. So these are grass blades that were left over from like the first cut we did with Luba here. And they're just kind of sitting on top of the grass here. And, uh, you know, yeah, you're going to have to finish up and blow off sidewalks and stuff like that if Luba is leaving grass clippings. This is basically what's left as she comes around and turns on the sidewalk here. But if you keep Luba inside, you won't have that issue. You still have to come out and trim, though, so you're still going to have clippings and you're still going to blow. So, you know, there's still a little bit of work that you need to put in to mow the lawn here. Luba is also extremely quiet. I believe the rating is about 60 decibels. Here I am, it's literally right below my feet here. And I'm talking to you normally through the camera and you could probably hardly hear this mower working. All right, so Luba has finished mowing the front yard here. We've been uh, mowing now for about 45 minutes, but it's trying to get back to the charging base the fence is closed so it was not able to get back there so it has just parked itself right here in the front and it's a good time to show you what this thing looks like underneath and here it is you have two rotating blades basically you have these razor blades four on each one to give you a total cutting width of just under 16 inches so these blades are easily replaceable you just take an allen key right there and i believe you can flip them around um, to use each side of the blade uh, and then when you're done they have replacement blades that you can uh completely change out uh we've been mowing almost non-stop ever since i've gotten it so it is dirty it has seen probably about oh about 10 to 15 hours of mowing already no joke i have had this unit now for about a week and i've almost been mowing non-stop and uh you could tell this thing is a little bit of a mess it needs to be cleaned but i really like the styling here because it looks like a formula one race car and it is a pretty sleek design but going back to the fact that this gate is locked I want to show you how easy it is to have Luba return home when you come back and find it just sitting here like this. Now you can do this in the app, but there are a couple buttons on the top of the unit here. If I press home and start, it will turn around. It'll find the channel that we have set up here. And if I could do this without Ruby coming out, it will make its way back home. Our channel goes straight across the sidewalk here. So it will make its way across. And it basically will follow the inside perimeter we have set up here on this backyard zone and charge all by itself. Now, it's probably a good time to talk about the battery life of this unit. This unit right here has a 10 amp hour battery. And when you have the settings optimized for maximum battery performance, this will run for three hours straight and it will mow 500 square meters. 500 square meters is just about 5,400, just under 400 square feet. Now, one of the issues that I've had, one of really the only issues I had after I've gone through and set things up and optimized the location of the RTK unit because that did take some time. The only real issue I've had is that Luba does tend to rut um, at the edge only if the areas are soft and damp and maybe a little bit mossy. Let me show you what I mean. 
So this area right here is behind my house and this is almost always under some sort of shade. And so we get a lot of moss back here and it's very soft here. All of this, it's, it's soft all the time. So when Luba comes around, sometimes it will cause some rutting here. Um, there are a couple areas, it's, it's not, it's not too bad, but I mean, this is just in general, this is the, not a good stand of turf, a um, lot of soft moss and, and, and mud never ever really dries here. So I would recommend if you're setting up a unit like this, and I believe any, uh, any automatic mower will probably have this issue. Um, I would recommend setting up the unit to navigate around this area. I might want to make this a no-go area for Luba so that it does not go in this area at all. Now let's talk about cost because that's a very important aspect of all of this and this thing is not necessarily cheap. This model right here retails for $28.99, that's $2,899. And I guess the thought process is if you're not going to be paying someone to mow your lawn and this autonomous mower is just doing it for you, it will eventually uh, pay for itself in a few years. Now, depending on what you might be paying right now for a lawn mowing service, you might have to do your own calculation to figure out your sort of, let's call it return on investment for, uh, for purchasing a mower like this, but that's definitely something to consider. Does it outweigh that assessment? I also think it's worth mentioning, uh, is it worth your time? Because time is money as well. So if having an autonomous mower like this gives you more time to do other things that you wanna do, rather than spend uh, an hour to a week in the lawn, mowing the lawn, is that worth it to you? What's the cost, what's the value of that for, for you? And does that, how does that look in the whole equation, the whole picture? You'll have to do that assessment yourself, but yes, this mower is $28.99. There'll probably be a couple discounts here and there that might knock it down a couple bucks, but that's roughly the price these things are coming in at. And there you have it. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions, drop a comment down below. I do my best to answer every single comment. If this video was helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and thank you for joining.